Welcome to finding differentials. Uh, so recall that dy was simply equal to f prime of x times dx. So if we want to find dy, if f of x equals 3x squared plus 5x minus 1, we first need to find f prime. And by the power rule, we know f prime of x is 6x plus 5. And then we just need to multiply it by dx to find dy. And then we will go ahead and find dy. And we have dy is equal to 6x plus 5, the whole thing multiplying dx. Let's go ahead and do this again. Uh, now we want to find dy if g of x equals the square root of x squared plus one. So the first thing we need to do is find g prime of x. And again, g of x is also the same as x squared plus one raised to the one half. So we have g prime of x is one half times x squared plus one raised to the negative one half. And then chain rule, we would have to multiply by the derivative of x squared plus one. So we have one half times x squared plus one to the negative one half times two x, or this is x over the square root of x squared plus one. Uh, I need to, again, give myself a little more space. So from here, we need to find dy. And we have that dy is equal to x over the square root of x squared plus 1 times dx. And then one more time. Uh, let's go ahead and find dy if h of x equals cosine of 3x minus 2. So the first thing we need to do is find h prime of x. And so we get h prime of x is equal to uh, derivative of cosine is negative sine of 3x minus 2. And then chain rule, we should multiply by the derivative of 3x minus 2. And we wind up getting h prime of negative 3 sine of 3x minus 2. Once we have the derivative, we can go ahead and find dy. And we have dy is equal to negative 3 sine of 3x minus 2 times dx. So again, dx is a number we are multiplying through by dx. Um, if we divided by dx, it would look like dy dx equals the derivative. Um, but in this notation, dx is actually a value. It's not part of the derivative notation. So again, just what I was commenting on. Note. If we divide by dx, then what we get looks like derivative notation, right? It looks like dy dx notation. So we would have dy divided by dx is equal to negative 3 sine of 3x minus 2. But um, we are not uh, using uh, derivative notation. dx is its own distinct uh, number as its dy. So dy and dx 
are not uh, sort of segments or broken pieces of dy dx. Um, they are their own individual symbols. Um, separate from dy dx notation. So while it's tempting to just write dy dx equals negative three sine of three x minus two and then multiply both sides by dx, that's not what we're doing. Um, dy by definition is just the derivative times dx. Um, so this is finding the differentials. 